Hi everyone, welcome back to the final video in our series on using Polygon with the Go programming language for accessing stock market data. In the previous videos, we looked at getting started with the client libraries, getting market and reference data, and finally in this video, we're gonna look at how to stream real-time stock market data, things like aggregate bars, trades, quotes, all via WebSocket. To stream data via the WebSocket, you'll need to have a paid plan, so let's quickly check out what that looks like. For the starter and developer plans, all WebSocket data is delayed 15 minutes. And for the starter plan here, you'll get access to aggregate bars. Then for the developer plan, you'll get access to aggregate bars and trades. And finally, with the advanced plan, you'll get real-time data for aggregate bars, trades, and quotes. What's so neat about streaming data via the WebSocket is that you can subscribe to data from the entire stock market at once and not be limited to a few hundred or even thousands of tickers you can access everything without limits in real time. All right, so let's jump over to the docs again and cover the workflow. First, you'll connect. Then you'll authenticate with your API key. And then you'll subscribe to the data feeds you're interested in. Once you're subscribed to a feed, you'll start to see a stream of messages wrapped in a JSON array like this. With aggregates, you'll get the ticker, the open, high, low, close, volume, etc. Aggregates are great if you want to plot or somehow visualize this data in real time. It also comes in two flavors, per second or per minute. An aggregate is essentially all valid trades for that ticker for that period of time summed up. You'll get one aggregate per ticker that you're following. What's really neat is that you can subscribe to all ticker symbols for the entire stock market and do that in real time. This is pretty incredible. Then down here, you can subscribe to trades. You'll get the ticker, the exchange it was traded on, the price, the size, the trade conditions, etc. Same thing goes for quotes. You can see the bid exchange, the ask exchange, the bid and ask prices, the sizes. These are the national bid best offer quotes or NBBO for short. Quotes that are the best available bid or offer prices for a particular security across all exchanges. All right, so let's jump over to the command line and see these in action. I've cloned the Polygon Go client library, and inside here you'll see a WebSocket examples directory. In here you'll find example code snippets for interacting with the WebSocket data using Go. There are three prerequisites here. First, you'll have to have Go version 1.18 installed since we're using generics. Next, you'll need to have gotten the Polygon client Go imports here, and you'll need an API key. You can find your API key in the Polygon dashboard after you've signed up. Then you can basically turn on and off any data feeds that you're interested in, and it'll just print them to the screen here. So in the first example here, we'll get the aggregates per second for all tickers. This enables us to monitor the entire stock market in real time, second by second. So I'll fire that up, and obviously you're gonna see a ton of activity here. So let's go back. And imagine maybe you're not interested in second by second data. Maybe you're interested in minute by minute data. You could just uncomment this here. Or maybe you wanted to monitor a particular ticker. You can narrow things down just by choosing the tickers you're interested in. Tesla in this example here. So what about trades or quotes? Well, if you uncomment the all trades option here, then we'll save and we can jump back to the console. As you can see, this is a real fire hose of data in that we're getting all trades executed across the entire stock market in real time. This is a pretty neat demo since it shows you the activity level. If we go back, we can also do the same thing for quotes. Or better yet, you can also subscribe to multiple feeds at once. We'll do that for trades and quotes. And we'll run this and you can obviously see it's a flurry of activity. If you were doing this for real, you wouldn't be printing it to the console, but you get the idea. So what's this useful for? Well, having real-time data is essential for, you know, monitoring portfolio performance. Maybe you wanna react really quickly to news. Maybe you're doing some research. Many folks are also making day trading decisions with this data. And let's not forget executing algorithmic trading strategies. All right, I know this is a very simple example, but it proves our setup is working. Thanks for watching and I hope you found this video useful for how to get started using real-time stock market data with Polygon and Go. 